Hi, welcome to Start the Day, Start the Week from Felixstowe. My name's Chris and this is your somewhat irregular podcast about local topics that have caught my interest. Uh, It's something I'd like to share with you quite often, really. Uh, It's things that we don't really take that much notice of, but can be interesting, uh, especially as we look into the future. One of the things that uh, I have an interest in is the shipping industry. It's pretty obvious a lot of us in Felix though do because we do have the UK's biggest container port here. But I was reading some old material from a major consultancy called Alpha Liner who actually look constantly at the maritime industries, at ships and shipping and talk about the way it's going and the way it's going to go in the future. What encouraged me to dig into the future of container shipping was a string of articles I've been reading, news items talking about new ship-to-shore crane installations in northern European ports. The latest I saw was in Antwerp, Belgium, where three new STS cranes were being delivered. What caught my eye was that the cranes were described as having a 26-row outreach. And that's an impressive number. The biggest container ship afloat and in service right now is the MSC Tessa, but her overall dimensions around 400 metres by 61.5 metres, or 1,312 feet by 202 feet, are exactly the same as many other Megamax ships, all really the biggest in the world in sheer overall size. The thing that makes her the largest is that MSC Tessa has space or slots to carry 24,116 TEU, that's 20 foot equivalents of boxes, 100 odd boxes more than her nearest rival. And even more importantly, she is exactly 24 rows of containers wide, exactly the same as those rivals. So here's the big question. Why are container ports buying cranes that can work with ships that don't exist? Container ships that are 26 rows of containers wide. It's got to be because shipping lines are telling ports that that's what they'll have floating out of building docks in the next few years. Now back to the Alpha Liner Consultancy where they really do know lots about ships and shipping. In 2021, they published a feature about what they saw in the future, and that's what we'll talk about next. Their main prediction was that container ships will grow in both length and breadth, adding 25 metres, or 82 feet in length, and either 2 or 5 metres in breadth. Calling this size of ships Gigamax as opposed to the existing Megamax. Gigamax 25 would have two extra 40-foot bays fore and aft and one extra row across the ship making 25 rows. It could carry up to 27,140 TEU. Gigamax 26 would have the same two extra 40-foot bays fore and aft but two extra rows across the ship, making 26 rows. It could carry up to 28,840 TEU. Both Giga designs would require the same depth of water as existing Megamaxes, so no extra high-cost dredging would be needed. Many major ports are already buying 26-wide cranes, so there would be a growing number of ports that could handle them. From the shipping line's point of view, the key factor seems to be a reduction in cost per container carried and a similar reduction in unit CO2 generation and therefore cost. Getting the cost per container down could be a very considerable advantage to lines in competitive times when there may be overcapacity on a route and it would boost profits when demand and therefore prices were high. The question that remains, of course, is what's happening in our neck of the woods in the UK. At present, Felixstowe, Southampton and Liverpool all have ship-to-shore cranes capable of handling 24-row wide vessels, while London Gateway can handle 25-row wide ships. 
The crane manufacturers say that boom extensions are possible, but ultimately what happens in the UK container port sector will be governed by the shipping lines. It may be that Gigamax ships could be routed only to the biggest ports, with the largest container demand and perhaps wider spread of feeder services at each end of their rotation and lesser ports could have services from the existing Megamax fleet. Whichever way it goes, Alpha Liner seems to think that Gigamax ships will be built sooner rather than later and that we may well see them in UK ports. You'll know, of course, when the port operators bring in 26-row capable ship-to-shore cranes. Thanks for listening and or watching, and we'll be back soon. Yeah.